Priority queues allows you to define how traffic is prioritized in the network. You configure four traffic priorities. You can define a series of filters based on packet characteristics to cause the router to place traffic into these four queues. The queue with the highest priority is serviced first until it is empty, then the lower queues are serviced in sequence. During transmission, priority queues gives priority queues absolute preferential treatment over low priority queues. Important traffic, given the highest priority, always takes precedence over less important traffic. Packets are classified based on user-specified criteria and placed into one of the four output queues high, medium, normal, and low based on the assigned priority. Packets that are not classified by priority fall into the normal queue. The figure below illustrates this process. When a packet is to be sent out an interface, the priority queues on that interface are scanned for packets in descending order of priority. The high priority queue is scanned first, then the medium priority queue, and so on. The packet at the head of the highest queue is chosen for transmission. This procedure is repeated every time a packet is to be sent. A priority list is a set of rules that describe how packets should be assigned to priority queues. A priority list might also describe a default priority or the queue size limits of the various priority queues. Packets can be classified by the following criteria. Protocol or subprotocol type. Incoming interface. Packet size. Fragments. Access list. When choosing to use priority queues, consider that because lower priority traffic is often denied bandwidth in favor of higher priority traffic. Use of priority queues could, in the worst case, result in lower priority traffic never being sent. To avoid inflicting these conditions on lower priority traffic, you can use traffic shaping to rate limit the higher priority traffic.